Using a laptop as a playback device can be a great way to run your movie or presentation. However, sound can be a huge frustration. I will show you how to control sound and quickly navigate Windows. Hi, I'm Paul the Outdoor Movie Guy and I own and run an outdoor movie company. I've been in the outdoor movie business for more than 10 years and before that worked in information technology. If you have any questions about sound, use of laptops or outdoor movies, be sure to put them in the comments below. Most media playback devices uh, only have one or two outputs for where the sound can possibly come out. However, with a laptop, something like this, there are multiple different places where the sound can come from. So with this laptop, you can see uh, we have the headphone jack right here. The sound can come through the, the USB-C to HDMI adapter, or we can be coming through uh, HDMI right there. The actual laptop itself does have speakers in here. So we have multiple ways that sound can come out of the laptop. So you're trying to get sound to your TV or your high def TV, your outdoor movie provider um, from your laptop. Commonly, uh, HDMI connection will take all of that information to the TV. That'll be video and sound, so that can go from the laptop. Um, if you're working with an outdoor, outdoor movie provider and you're doing a presentation, another option would be the video goes through the HDMI. However, you want the sound to go from the headphone jack to the uh, RCA connection, which then can be plugged into the soundboard. So let's boot up the laptop and log into Windows. A little side note, I am going to do another video with the Mac. So uh, if you are a Mac person, uh, check below and we'll put a link to that right there. So here we're on the laptop. Quickest way to get to our audio settings is to come down here. We're going to start typing sound and we're going to hit enter and that's going to bring that up. If we click the little carrot right here, we're going to see our different options. We have the speakers, that would be the laptop speakers. We have the USB capture card, which is the HDMI out. If you're going to a TV or a projector directly and you want the sound to go with it, that would be the one you would select. And then we do have a virtual cable. I'm going to leave the virtual cable installed right now and I'm going to go over to the right hand side. Another way to get audio is come right here. And you'll see if I go to my carrot on the right hand side and I change to speakers, it changes it over here. So it's the same setting. The setting over here, it can be hidden sometimes. So normally typing in the search bar is the easiest way to, to get to that info. So let's just test a piece of media super quick. Perfect, so that was playing over my laptop speakers, which is awesome. All right. So what I wanna do now is, um, in those options, there was nothing for a headphone. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm plugging this now into an AV mixing console, and I'm gonna use that using the headphone jack. So the headphone jack's gonna go into the side of the laptop, and then this cable is already plugged into my mixing console. When I plug this in, you're gonna see a new option just pop up, and then we can uh, go ahead and select that. Back on the laptop right here, all right, plugging it in. Excellent, and you'll see right there it did change. Um, if you plug it in and it doesn't automatically change there, you may need to hit the carrot and you should then see the option. So I'm gonna click on the headphones and we're gonna play that same piece of media. <laughs> And now it's going through my uh, AV mixer, which is awesome. So what can sometimes happen is you've gone in there, you've um, changed your default to what you want the default to be. Check the volume, you've checked you're not muted, you're like the, the media, I'm playing it through this application and it's still no sound is coming out and I, I'm sure I'm doing this correctly. What can sometimes happen is an application can have its own settings for volume and stuff and it can also, set itself not to play to default. So we're gonna look at an app right now, VLC v uh, player, and make a change in that app. So you'd have to know what app you're playing from. If you're having an issue with the app, you think you've set everything else correct, then go into the application and try and find a similar setting. So here we are in VLC, and I am gonna go ahead and try and play this piece of media. And there's no volume. Okay, so let's see if we can troubleshoot why this is. I'm going to go up to my audio settings for this application and go to my audio devices 
And if we look, I have a virtual cable installed. That is what is selected. I don't have my default. So if I go ahead and now set this to default, it'll actually, we'll look at right here, it's gonna to go to my headphones. So I'm gonna to go to audio, devices. I'm gonna send it back to default. I can now. play the audio without an issue. That was basically it. It's pretty simple. Um, change your default auto audio device to the one that you want. If you are uh, on, um, say, an HDMI switch, you would need to change it to the wherever that cable was going. Um, if you're plugging into an AV um, mixer or whatever, then you need to use that headphone adapter to make that happen. So check that, check your volume, check your, your volume, check you're not muted. And then after that, uh, it could just be an application issue. Go ahead and check the application itself is not muted. Check the application is sending it to where you think it's going to. Check that it is sent to default or set to whatever you need it to be to work. So that was basically it. Um, like I said earlier, we will do a Mac version uh, of this piece of the video. So if you are on a Mac and you're having audio issues, hopefully that'll help. Um, like, subscribe, give us some love. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.